Open Heavens on the Go, Friday, August 12th, 2022. Topic, Letter to the Pagamos Church. Memory verse, 1 Corinthians 5, 6. Your glory is not good. Know ye not that a little leaven leaveneth the whole lot? Bible reading, Revelation 2, 12 to 17. And to the angel of the church in Pergamos write, These things saith he which hath the sharp sword with two edges. I know thy works, and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is. And thou holdest fast my name, and hast not denied my faith, even in those days wherein Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you where Satan dwelleth. But I have a few things against thee, because thou hast there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed unto idols, and to commit fornication. So hast thou also them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which thing I hate. Repent, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh, Will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and we give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth, saving he that receiveth it. The message. The church in Pagamos was standing firm. They did not deny the faith, even with so much decadence around them. The only thing God had against them, however, is that they accommodated sinners in their midst without cautioning them that they were doing the wrong thing. It is not enough to live holy. You must also be concerned about the holiness of the entire church. You must not be slow to call to correction those who are doing it wrong within the body of Christ. I am not saying that you should confront anyone, but make it clear to everyone that there is the fake and the original. State the attributes of the fake and those of the original. You don't have to mention names. The people will know who and who you are talking about. It will be clear that you are not in support of their actions. But now, I have written unto you not to keep company. If any man that is called a brother be a fornicator, or covetous, or an idolater, or a railer, or a drunkard, or an extortioner, with such an one, no, not to eat. 1 Corinthians 5.11 In many churches today, the lie between the church and the world is blurry. During praise and worship, they are singing songs and drumming just like the people of the world. Members of the congregation are dancing the latest dance steps in the world. You see ladies exposing their bodies and wearing very tight clothes. Choristers make their faces up so much that when you see them coming, you know they pay more attention to adorning the flesh than the spirit. 1 Peter 3 34. The Bible says, Be ye separate. 2 Corinthians 6 17. If light is beginning to look like darkness, then you can be sure it is no longer light but darkness. We now have among us also people who hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans saying, as long as you have given your life to Christ, 
then you can go ahead and commit sin. Grace will cover you. Now, because some of these people are big men of God, the other pastors who know the truth are too afraid to speak up. Don't keep quiet. Speak up and tell whoever will listen to you that the Nicolaitan doctrine is of the devil and Jesus hates it. Revelation 2.15 Reflection In Revelation 2.15-16, Jesus said he is coming to fight those who follow wrong doctrines within the church. Check carefully. Are you one of them? Bible reading in one year. Isaiah 20 to 24. Him for today, when we walk with the Lord. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.